Why don't we stay in hell? That's the least I can do after missing a bug out. No, it's all good. We've got it. Are you sure? Yeah. Spoiler Alert is a romantic tale about love and loss, both a comedic and tragic story that navigates a real-life relationship ups and downs. It stars Jim Parsons and Ben Aldridge, playing a couple in this romantic drama. Yeah, I did some research. I asked you not to, Mike. The internet just tells you you're gonna die. You're not a doctor if you want to understand what it says anyway. Well, maybe, but this isn't exactly my first run-in with cancer, kids. Exactly. I don't want this to freak you out. Fitting for its name and with a scheduled release of December 2nd in the US, production began for this film in the same month in 2018 as Michael Showalter signed on to direct it. I must well, take one. Hey, Mark. Baker. The trailer very much reminds me of Dear Evan Hansen, not the same kind of movie as far as the theme goes, but gives off the same vibe. And it's interesting to see Jim Parsons play any other character besides Sheldon Cooper as so many people got used to only that character for so long. But as we go behind the scenes with this film, we could get used to it pretty easily. He wasn't going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. so, so there's a couple of them. My, my boy is a kind of dramatic. <laughs> dramatic. A little bit. Yeah. He takes, he takes everything very seriously. And of course, some trivia for you. What was Jim Parsons' first role as an actor? Leave your answer in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Okay, you can come out now. Uh huh. Yes. Uh Lots of tinsel. Uh -huh. Unlike Sheldon Cooper in The Big Bang Theory, the new character Jim plays, Michael, he has a clear image of what he wants romantically, but the fact of the matter and conflict that happens health-wise comes into play. But it's interesting to see him play this character in the behind-the-scenes moments. He's my boyfriend, Mom. Okay? Boyfriend? Yes. You're gay? Yes. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Mm. Are you sure maybe there was an ant? No, no, no. Christmas and soaps, period. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. The chemistry between Jim and Ben was apparent. Once cast, Aldridge poured over not only Asiello's book, but also the home movies the author shared, including that of Kit's Memorial. The memoir the movie is based on is Michael Asiello's best-selling memoir, spoiler alert, The Hero Dies. Middle child, two brothers, uh, were very close to the living in the States, so I don't see what else. Hmm. Only child. Only child. I think he's gone, and then but can't there just be a beat of just, how'd you guys meet? The time period it takes from the real life story of the entire love story is 11 months. Sally Field plays Kit's mother, Marilyn, in the film. Working with Sally Field has been the highlight of my career, Showalter said. Can I get anyone a drink? You. I did I come? Yes, thank you. Jinx. That was cute. Oh, I'm super new. Okay. You know I'm kidding. I want a vodka soda. Got it. Thank you. Background, action. I cannot wait to collaborate with her again. I know she will bring so much depth and humor to this pivotal role. Showalter is producing Spoiler Alert with Jordana Malik via their semi-formal productions. How do we wait on the scores? I gotta say, you said it, Anna. And during a promotional reel, Jim and Ben attempt to portray their lines, but just end up goofing around instead. Hi, I'm Jim Parsons. And I'm Ben Aldridge. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim Parsons. And I'm... <laughs> Hi. <laughs>
<laughs> Michael Osiello went on to explain on KTLA 5 his personal story in his memoir and how it impacted him as well as the release of the story way back in 2017. I was approached to write it actually and uh, and it was seemed like an opportunity I couldn't pass up on, an opportunity to pay tribute to my late husband, but also to introduce the world to him. Bill Irwin praises Jim Parsons for his acting skills, actor to actor, with how he portrays emotions throughout the film with his every move. When I met him, I was not surprised that he's a beautiful Chekhovian actor. I wasn't surprised. Movie critics have also, of course, praised Jim Parsons for his acting skills and producing skills, giving him a thumbs up. Michael spoke about how he loved the idea of having Parsons play him in the movie, saying it was a good fit and surreal. Nice to meet you. Wow. Uh -huh. You know? Because well, I've been playing it the whole time. Of yeah. Why are you leaving? Why, Why are aren't you leaving? leaving? Before publishing his memoir in 2017, Asiello experienced a successful career in entertainment journalism, serving as a senior writer at TV Guide and reporting for Entertainment Weekly throughout his career before finally launching his own site, TV Line, in 2011. He's credited on the upcoming film as an executive producer. Oh, no, no, you're not my person. I'll land if you're my person. Mm -hmm. It's good. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, illness is not something to mess around with either. When writing about someone with a terminal illness, it gives a level of personal that not many stories touch on. So when something like this is involved, it really pulls on the heartstrings. Life story, one word, go. Uh, basically. Basically? No. Basically. That is fascinating. However, the story really goes in depth on the real life relationship between the writer and his partner. Almost all films that connect on a personal level between two people is a startup for success. I must well take one. Hey, Mark. Baker. Filming began on this film in August of 2021, and the president of production and accusations, Kriska Higgs, went on to tell his story on what his thoughts were after finishing reading the memoir. The moment I finished Michael Osiello's incredible book, I knew Focus needed to make this film, said Higgs. We fell head over heels in love with Michael and Kit and their classic New York romance, and we can't wait to see what Jim and Ben breathe into the roles. With Showalter's vision for the story's heart and humor, we hope not only to do justice to Michael and Kit's story, but also to inspire the audience to love them as much as we do. Why couldn't you tell me that? Why did you keep it a secret? What am I, some kind of monster? I didn't know how to tell, tell you, Mom. I didn't know how to react. It's a difficult... Jim Parsons also goes on to The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon talking about his experience about the film. Lived in New York on a very similar trajectory of time to me and my husband here in New York. And um, his husband battled uh, uh, cancer and eventually passed away. So th this is their journey through that. The trailer itself really takes you through a journey of love and loss and is bound to pull on the heartstrings and bring out some tissues for a few. Michael says in the trailer, he was always afraid that Kit would end up breaking his heart. He's my boyfriend, mom. Okay. You're gay. Yes, I'm, I'm gay. After watching it, it seems like many hearts will be broke in theaters during the nearly two hour runtime of the movie once it's released. Good dialogue with a good story to match and giving its real life relation, it's sure to provide viewers some entertainment with maybe some relation. Ben Aldridge explains more about his personal story and the roller coaster of emotions. It's about two guys meeting uh, in the early noughts, as you guys call it. We call it the noughties in the UK, which I think is cheekier and sexier, but in the, in the aughts, do you guys like the aughts or the noughts? One of those. He goes into more detail when the partner was diagnosed with a terminal il illness. When they first get the cancer diagnosis they're actually on a break they've they've hit this point in their relationship where 
they're seeing a couples counsellor, a couples therapist, and it's not quite working. Bill Irwin, who plays Bob in the film, does an interview on the story and the beginning phases of the relationship. It's a story about people's daily lives hit with big, big events. Cancer diagnosis, breakup, marriage. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, aside from his Broadway roles in Normal Heart and starring in An Act of God, his first television role was Chet in the show Ed. And oddly enough, of course his famous and breakout role was Sheldon in The Big Bang Theory, but in doing a little bit of research along the way, he was accepted into the role. No, I get it. A couple of young guys catting around, looking for chicks and... Uh... Wingman needs a wingman. Mm -hmm. right. The way he was accepted into the role in his audition, Chuck Lorre was so impressed by Parsons' performance that Lorre insisted on a second audition to see if Parsons could replicate the performance. Parsons was cast as Sheldon Cooper, a physicist with social apathy who frequently belittles his friends and the waitress who lives across the hall. Huge inspiration to me. 13 years is an incredibly long time for anyone to stay together, but especially for a gay couple, in this day and age, it's, it's a really special thing. Yeah. The role required Parsons to rattle off line after line of tightly composed rhythmic dialogue as well as then do something with his face or body during the silence that follows. Parsons credits his University of San Diego training with giving him the tools to break down Sheldon's lines. Okay. Oh, now that you part my mouth. <laughs> yes! Really? Sorry, baby, sorry, dude. Come on, Roland. So what do you guys think of all these moments of this film and do you think this is a good role for Parsons? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. I'm starving like Marvin. <laughs> what a world we live in. How was school today, honey? Kind of a drag. One of the other kids called me Dead Dad Mike.